heart of most of the world's wars in the last century. And in fact, if you look at American foreign policy for the future, they use a term called full spectrum dominance. And this is what they are setting out to do, full spectrum dominance. And it means they want to control the land, the sea, the sky, and outer space. They want to control it all. Um, but it isn't for the Americans, because don't believe all this rubbish about the American dream. We all see the Hollywood images of um, large Manhattan apartments with six friends living and having happy lives and, and uh, all the other Hollywood images. The reality is over 50 million people in America are without basic health care. Infant mortality rates are higher in some states than in parts of Latin America. Um, black men in Detroit have a lower life expectancy than men living in Bangladesh. The American dream is only for a select few, for the American imperialists, for the neocons who are in the White House. And don't even think that they care about the armies that they send out to invade Muslim lands. These um, soldiers, there are 40,000 soldiers called green card soldiers. These are kids from Guatemala, Mexico, and other countries who have been promised fast-track citizenship if they join up um, for Uncle Sam. So, you know, there are, there are two levels. There are the, the neocons and then there are the ordinary people. And as I say, um, more than 50 million Americans did not vote for Bush, so we should really be careful to differentiate.